don't yourself shut up. If you conduct yourself like a gentleman and you act like a human being, you want to be treated as such. Am I correct on that? You're right. You agree with me? Okay. I'm going to make this short and sweet. Short and sweet. We're going to get back to what the fuck we do the best. Because this for sure ain't. Listen. The thing that bothers me the most is the black rap bands and fucking rap and all the fucking white kids buying their albums and shit because they think it sounds neat and nifty and they go to dance clubs and they dance and fucking take fucking hacks and shit like that. They dance with this rap shit. And listen, the rap bands, the majority of them, the hardcore motherfuckers, are pissing all over you white culture. They don't fucking want your fucking culture at all. They fucking dog out every white person that was ever born. And they don't know any of us. Do you understand that? In the United States where we live, the black people walk around with t-shirts and shit and say it's a black day. You wouldn't understand. And my favorite one of all is stop black on black crime. You know what that means? That means stop black people from killing each other. What does that say to you? That means it's okay to kill white people, doesn't it? That's what it means to me. It don't say stop fucking crime. It says stop black on black crime. It's okay to kill a white motherfucker, no problem. Well, look, let me tell you what. Let me tell you what. If you walked around with a fucking t-shirt on that said white pride, you would be racist. You would be a piece of shit motherfucking racist, and you couldn't deal with it. Coming out tonight, Lucky Strike Live. It's been a pleasure having all of you here and all the awesome musicians. Ronnie James Dio, stand up and shout. Dance the Foundation. Thank you very much for coming out, guys. Don Bass, 2016. Fuck yeah. Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scouts.
There was no such thing as fucking racism in the fucking punk, hardcore, metal community. You know, it was the weird kid in every class in one place. And you were just so used to being the fucking weird kid and, like, having no friends in school that when you were at the fucking show, who gave a fuck if you were a Jewish kid or a black kid or a Spanish kid or... Or a white kid or whatever the fuck you are. You know what I'm saying? It didn't matter. You were the weird kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I always hated when, like, they tried to impose, like, their, like, normal world fucking standards on us. Because, like, punk rockers, metalheads, hardcore kids, like, we're, like, fringe people that, like, don't want to be a part of the bullshit that you made. And when you try to apply your shit to it, it's just... You know, you, we could see right through it. <laughs>